Hey guys, Life here from iTech. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to fix an issue where uh, if you find yourself not able to access the, your Konica and Minolta device in your web browser. So uh, typically in Google or Edge, if I type in the IP address of the Konica and Minolta device like this uh, and nothing is happening, uh, I'm not able to connect or get the web page displayed. Uh, this could be caused by a incorrect uh, certificate installed on the device. So uh, what I'm going to do in this case, uh, I'm going to use Chrome, so I'm going to switch to Chrome. And uh, you might find that you are still able to access uh, the Konica Minolta device in Chrome. So I'm going to show you this, which is the case uh, here now. I can still access it through Chrome but not Edge or uh, I can still access it in Firefox sorry but not Edge or Chrome so I'm gonna go log out uh, we're gonna log into the admin settings default password is one two three four five six seven eight twice we're gonna log in uh, we're gonna go to security PKI settings device certificate settings and I'm going to delete this certificate so highlight it click on settings select remove a certificate and click OK uh, we're now going to create a new certificate uh, with the uh, proper security standard so I'm going to select new Create and install a self-signed certificate. Hit OK. Type in anything into these uh, fields, uh, mandatory fields. It doesn't really matter what, what you type in. Uh, and type in an admin email address. Really doesn't matter what it is. Uh, I normally set the validity period to 3650 days, 10 years. And this is the uh, important thing here. The encryption key type cannot be SHA1 because that's not supported. Uh, we're going to select, I normally select this one, RSA2048 SHA256. And we're going to hit OK. And that's been created. One more thing we're going to do before we exit is to click on the enable SSL version. Change this to admin mode and user mode. So we will allow to use HTTPS for this. Hit OK. And hit log out. And you can now see. Uh, log in here. I'm just going to log out again. And I'm going to switch to Chrome. And I'm going to try to refresh now. And you can see I now get the uh, uh, security connection. I can click advanced. I can click proceed. And we can now access the web interface again in Chrome and uh, Edge. That's it.